What a show from Ring of Honor. I don't do videos often anymore due to my personal life. Follow me on Twitter if you want to know why. Uh, but I did have the chance to watch tonight's fantastic show from Ring of Honor. Really, really great. Really, really great. Uh, maybe I'm just very hyped up because I haven't watched many shows from start to finish when they first air uh, that anymore. But I did get the chance up with tonight's. Very, very impressed. Uh, probably, you know, the best ath aesthetically, I'll say. On pay-per-view, I've seen Ring of Honor. Probably because I hadn't seen since they upgraded their production values on one. But really great stuff. Uh, Trying to keep it a little short and sweet here. Uh, opener was uh, Die Jack versus Briscoe. Uh, I had a couple stream issues during this match and the next one. So I know in the general area of where the match was, but this was a good opener, uh, solid action. Uh, I like how this was placed first on the card and because of the main event. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, pretty good stuff. Uh, can't say much more than that. Then there was uh, the tag match Decade of Page and Whitmer versus Seidel and ACH. I saw some really good action while I was. Uh, I had a couple stream issues during this match as well. Then I got off my internet, got back on before the next match. So I, it was that was pretty good as well. Um, nothing much more than that either. Uh, although I'm pretty sure uh, this this could be a better match if they give some more time, and I'm excited to see where this goes. Uh, then and there was Castle versus Young. Really, really, really entertaining stuff. This is a really nice change of pace. Castle's really come into his own, and uh, the crowd did very well in this match, especially for the New York crowd. I was very happy with this. Then there was the three-way Moose, Roderick Strong, and uh, the other guy's name, uh, Michael Elgin. Really, really good three-way. Um, I don't feel like it was missing something, but um, I kind of knew it was not going to be Moose winning it, so it was just which one of the other two was going to win, and uh, I was happy to see it was Roddy. Sorry to give that away, but uh, Roddy did a very, very good job in this match. Uh, all, all three put in a good effort, uh, honestly, and for people who haven't faced each other all that often, to come together and really in a uh, match like this, the way it was shaped was fantastic. I really liked it. Uh, I'd, I'd go ahead and even say it was great. Uh, then we had the match of the night. Um, probably from an action standpoint, the match of the night, just because it was so nuts, not moment-wise. That's not the best moment, but probably a tie between this and the main event of the six man between Bullet Club and the Kingdom. Uh, better than the one that was at World of the Worlds. Uh, this topped any all my expectations. Um, it, this just gets my demeanor going any time I want to see the Young Bucks face like Styles and a partner was choosing because they just work so well as a tag team. I can't wait to see them face off whenever that does happen. Uh, you know, King, the Kingdom, Adam Cole is a star, and we've known that for a long time. But Taven and Bennett have really come into their own over the last year. I'm so impressed with how they've done. Um, and their chemistry just between teams really, really has just picked up. And I, you wouldn't expect any less from these teams, but they even surpassed those expectations. Amazing match. Then we got the semi-main of the No DQ tag match. I thought it was really good, but it was kind of missing something. Uh, really, really good, but, you know, compared, kind of sandwiched in between uh, the two amazing matches. It felt kind of lackluster. Uh, you know, you could see the Saban thing coming, but, uh, and you know, really great ring attire. Christopher Daniels uh, came out in a World War One style jacket. Fantastic stuff on that. Uh, but I said this was really good, but quite didn't reach where it probably could have gone with a, another match between these two teams. And then we have the main event of title versus title, Lethal versus Briscoe. I, I, I think moment-wise, this might be one of the best moments in Ring of Honor history, in recent memory at least. Uh, you know, Lethal, you know, it was a matter of, also, I'm a little speechless when it comes to this match because I just saw it. You know, it was so, 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 so good. You know, you really can't ask for any more between these two men. You know, I was happy with the winner. I was happy with how it was drawn out. Perfect, perfect job. You don't need to overdo it. You know, make both these men look like stars. And I think that this has just made Ring of Honor incredibly fresh. And not that it wasn't before, but this is, it's starting to go get back to where it was, you know, when it's prime, when there was, you know, so many reviews going on here. And I know that, me stepping back in kind of helps that a little bit, but, you know, you really do need to order this show. I'm glad I spent my $35, even with the stream problems in the beginning and some of the internet problems, still well worth your money. Uh, it's, it's a really, really great show. 
uh, for exact star ratings and stuff and ratings go into the description box. Please follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.